This is the real Tom Rose, and we have um, we have an equation and an expression that needs to be evaluated. Um, the expression cannot be evaluated without the value of x, and you can get x by solving uh, the given equation, but you need to know how to do that. Um, so what we're given is 2 thirds x equals 1. And we want to use algebra to figure out the value of x here. So remember when you, when you modify equations, you always want to do the same thing to both sides. And as long as you do the same thing to both sides, you know that that's legal and that the equation continues to be true. The trick here is picking what things to do that simplify the equation in the way that you want, so to build the world in your image. Um, and over time, you can learn a set of patterns that you can recognize. So for example, if we have a 3 in the denominator, one pattern that you can apply here is let's multiply both sides by 3. And I'll show you what happens when we do that. If you do that, um, on the left side of the equation, the 3's cancel out. That's no accident. We set it up that way, so just so that would happen. And what you end up with is 2x equals 3. And so you see the net result of what what happened there was we simplified the left side of this equation a little bit more. Now, if we keep going, let's say we want to get rid of that too. Um, well, another pattern you'll come to recognize eventually is that if you have a, um, a number multiplied by a variable and you want to get rid of that number, you can divide by that number. So 2x, let's divide both sides by 2. Now, the 2's cancel, again, not by accident and we're left with x equals 3 halves. Now that we know x, let's plug it in here and see what comes out of that. So we have 3 quarters plus x, which is 3 halves. Um, we need to find a common denominator here so that we can add these. And let's focus on the, the right fraction, because if we multiply that by 2 over 2. Now, in terms of fractions, if you want to manipulate those, you can always multiply by 1. So we're multiplying by 2 over 2 which is equivalent to 1. What that's going to have the impact of doing is change the denominator of that fraction. So you end up with 3 quarters plus um, 3 times 2 is 6. 2 times 2 is 4, so 6 quarters. So that sums to 3 plus 6 is 9, so that's 9 quarters. And that's your answer, which is the first answer choice.